So, after Mariana married, they continued their relationship, they did. her and Anne. And how long did they continue, how did they continue, and when did they end, or did they end it? What happened? Um, Mariana used to uh, travel from Cheshire, from her husband's estate, over to York. And on the way, Halifax, where Anne Lister lived, uh, would be a stopping off point for her. So she would spend two or three nights, perhaps, with Anne. Other arrangements, um, Anne would go over to Manchester, they would have clandestine love nights in a Manchester hotel. Mm -hmm. um, whenever whenever um, Anne Lister was in York, if Mariana was there, they slept together in the same bed. So by um, different means, they managed to continue a, an intermittent sexual life. Mm -hmm. The crisis really came um, on occasion when Mariana was coming over to, over to Halifax and going on to York and Anne was so impatient to see her that she walked all the way from Shibdid right up to Rippendin and to watch the carriage coming up from, from uh, Lancashire. Rippendin right at the top is the, is the uh, midway point between Yorkshire and Lancashire. So Mariana comes by Manchester up the hill and the carriage stops at the White, uh, White House Inn. So Anne walked 12 miles from Chibden. She was a prodigious walker uh, up, up to the White House. And she said, I spied the carriage coming up the hill. And when the carriage came up, she says, every other thought but of Mariana, every other thought went from my head. And I hastily jumped up into the carriage three steps. But she was so disheveled and so wind blown and, uh, and uh, obviously rain spattered because it had rained heavily while she was walking that Mariana was totally shocked at her dishevelled appearance and she scolded Anne, she said, what are you doing? How, how dare you come and meet me in this condition? What are, what are the post boys going to think? What are the people in the inn? Well, Anne was really shocked that Mariana would meet her in such a hostile fashion and it did something to Anne's love for Mariana. Mm. From that point on, however much she tried to forgive her, she couldn't, she really hurt her pride. And she goes on about it, uh, the three steps business, she calls it. <laughs> and it comes up again and again in the encrypted passages. I cannot get over this three steps business. You know, instead of being met with love and affection, I was met with a dismayed face and, and a harsh words. They did travel on and Mariana was going up to Scarborough where her father had a house in Scarborough, in fact he died in Scarborough. And um, Anne decided to join her for two weeks in Scarborough, but, but they had got that planned, although she was reluctant. They were walking along Scarborough Beach together and two ladies were walking on that were friends of theirs and they totally ignored Anne spoke just to Mariana, invited Mariana to their tea party the following day, didn't invite Anne, and when they got back to the, 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 the house, um, Anne said, are you ashamed to be seen with me? And Mariana Morrow said, well, yes, I am, because you look so manly. If you just had, I think she meant a bust, or, you know, mm -hmm. yes, if you just had more womanly, Feminine figure. Feminine figure. And Anne said, but what about the mentalities? You know, I'm a, I'm a clever woman and, you know, and uh, she says, taking all that together, would you have me change? Mariana said, yes. You know, well, that, that was the death yeah. knell, really. Yeah. Yes. And so I think from then on, you know, the, the affair gradually grew apart. Yes. And then, of course, Anne became more sophisticated. But the odd thing is that, you know, when she inherited um, the hall, Mariana was, oh, you know, are, are you some No, mm. no, no. She's sorry. interested now. Sorry, you've blown it. <laughs> She's sweetened the deal, didn't yes, she? Yes, she wanted to hedge her bets yeah. because it was by that time it was ob obvious there were going to be no children of the marriage and the Lawton estate and all the money would pass to the next male heir, right. which was like a cousin of, um, of Charles Lawton. So, Mariana would be virtually bereft. I think in his will, I think he left her a small house or something like that, and some money that, that she was thinking then, oh, you know, 
uh, I would rather perhaps I'm Maybe this isn't back. such a bad yeah. deal. <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> she moved on. Yes, she had. Yes, Anna had moved on then. And uh, she, she'd got ambitious. Um, she wanted to find somebody in the aristocracy, somebody with a name and money. And she spent quite a number of years trying uh, to initiate, to ingratiate herself with the aristocracy. But they were, she said, I realised I hadn't enough eclat or money or, or status. I'll come home. She said, I have been an Icarus, but I have not fallen so far and I have not been so badly burnt, mm. which was after the god Icarus who flew to sure. the sun and got his wings burnt. Sure. So she said, I have been an Icarus, but I'm not so badly burnt. I haven't fallen so far. I'm going to go home and find myself a partner, uh, an heiress near a home. And he, luckily, Anne Walker, lived next door, a vastly wealthy woman. Yes. Convenient. And, um, <laughs> the rest, as we say, is history. <laughs>